This tutorial is called Chrome Text. We're going to create an airbrush effect on this text without touching the airbrush using some filters. And also I'm going to show you how to use the Type Warp tool. First thing we want to do, I went ahead and typed in a large uh, word here. Come over here and make a new layer. Go up here to your Marquee tool and draw a rectangle around your text. Make sure that um, the black letters are within the box. Okay. All right, the next thing that you want to do is we want to create a gradient. And if you come up here with the gradient picker, we want the chrome uh, gradient. And if you slide your cursor over it, you can see that each one has a name. And we happen to have one called chrome. Select that. Next thing you do, hold your shift key. I'm going to put my cursor right at the top of the D. Hold your shift and drag from top to bottom. There you go. Nice chrome effect. Now, you say, well, where's the text? Well, what we have to do now, we're going to go over here, and I'm going to create, first of all, I'm going to go to the filter menu, and I'm going to come under distort. Come over here and select wave. Now, uh, there's a variety of settings you can put in here. Uh, I experimented a bit, and this is what I came up with. And But you're welcome to try anything. So let's click OK. Now you'll see a bit of a distortion. All right, the next thing we have to do, go ahead and deselect, Command-D, and come under uh, Layer. And what we're going to do, we're going to create a clipping mask. Go ahead and select that. There you go. There's our... Um, Chrome gradient inside the text. Okay, now it doesn't really pop yet. So what we want to do is go ahead down to your text layer here and come under here, add layer style, select that, and let's go ahead and select our drop shadow. When your box pops up, you'll see a little bit of depth there. Now we can try some things. I'm going to try inner shadow, um, outer glow. Okay, I'm going to go with the inner shadow inner glow, and bevel and emboss. Now that really pops. Okay, the next thing we do, let's come under here under quality or contour editor and experiment with some contours here. And try some different ones. Let me find something that I like. I like this one. This is called rounded steps. Go ahead and click OK. Now there you are. Got a nice effect here. We have a chrome and a text uh, file here, not touching the airbrush. Now the wave file, the reason we're using wave is because in reality most chrome you're going to see outside, not so much inside. You're going to see the reflection of a sky here. So rather than have a straight line, that just gives it a little interest. Okay, the next thing we do to really make it pop, let's come under here under your background, go to your foreground color and select black. To make it easy, Let's go Option Delete or Alt Backspace if you have a CD, uh, PC. And there you go. There's a, a really nice effect. Um, and it really pops against the background. Now, I was, I'm going to show you the Warp tool. Go ahead and select your text box here. And select your, your Type tool. And you'll see an icon right here. And that is your uh, Warp text. Go ahead and collect that. Tick that. Now, watch what happens when, when I hit this. A lot of things. Now, some you can't really see, but there is some interesting things. Now, what I found that really works on this one would be the wave. I really like this one. And there's another one also that you can do. I like the fisheye. That one's nice. And the other one that I like uh, is the fish. Is it... Uh, a picture of a, of a fish. You can try different ones. You can experiment. Uh, there's so many things you can do with this. I'm going to go back to the wave. And that is our text with a chrome airbrush effect using the, the type warped tool.